Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn about uh, Postgre cluster. So, okay. So, what is a Postgre cluster? So. Uh, when we say cluster, it, it means uh, n number of nodes which are uh, connected together and they are serving as a single one unit or uh, multiple database instance which are connected together and called as a cluster. But this is not that cluster in PostgreSQL. When we say Postgre cluster, it means it is a collection of databases which are managed by a single Postgre instance. So that instance will have its own background process and it will have its own uh, uh, PG data. So what are the different components of uh, the term cluster in Postgres? So we have something called as data directory. So uh, let's say when you install uh, Postgre on uh, Linux system or uh, on uh, let's say Windows system, there is something called as data directory where in all the files which is related to the database, tables and other logical entities are created and they are specific to that particular instance by default we create only one instance if there is no need to create another instance so that data directory is being managed by the Postgres uh, Postgre processes so it manages all the data directory uh, files and uh, interfaces of those uh, uh, contents so when we say cluster it means two things combination of data directory and Postgre process. What is the use of having one more cluster when you already have one uh, instance? So you can say it as it is a temporary database uh, which you can create outside of the existing instance. You can make any changes in the new PG data, uh, data directory, let's say postgresql.com or uh, um, pg underscore hba dot con file and that is separate from uh, the default instance which you have installed or uh, there is an another uh, purpose you can have a different version of the postgre at the same time so you create one more uh, uh, instance you uh, test the environment or you can have multiple versions or you can create the database in the new instance or a, in, in layman language we'll say having one more instance with its own data and the background process. So how can we create a new instance? So to create a new instance, you have to create a new data directory for the cluster. So you log into your existing cluster. Let's say in my case, it is a, a Linux system. So I'll say sudo su hyphen postgre. You can check the current location of PG data, create a new location, and then you initialize that particular location using init db and uh, the new data directory location once uh, the instance is instantiated you have to configure the cluster by default in the existing uh, uh, cluster you will have the port 5432 active so you cannot use the same port for the new instance so you have to uh, change the port to a, a new uh, what do you a number so instead of 5432 let's say i'm going to use uh, 5433 or any other i need to change the unix uh, 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 socket directory from uh, uh, existing the the, uh, the current one will be your var run postgresql and let's say create a new location and uh, the your unix uh, socket which is uh, required for uh, connection from the same host that will be used then you start the postgre server once uh, the initialization and you have changed the parameter port and unix uh, socket underscore directory in postgresql.conf you initialize it using pgctl hyphen d give the location of new data directory and uh, log file uh, that is optional or you just say start uh, then you can check 
of whether your new instance has come up with the new processes or not using ps hyphen ps xf so that will show you the tree structure with the postmaster at the base and other processes following that uh, then once your uh, new instance uh, is instantiated you can connect to that using psql hyphen h localhost new port and uh, the super user which is postgre if you have to stop it you just say pgctl hyphen d uh, the location of the uh, data directory and uh, if you have to give the log file uh, name you give it then stop if you have to reload if let's say you have uh, done some changes which uh, then you have to reload it just say pgctl hyphen d uh, the location of new directory and reload so uh, it, it's very uh, simple pgctl uh, location of new directory either you say start stop or reload then we are going to perform a demo on a linux environment so let me take you through that so i've listed all the steps so i have a, a IP address 192 so uh, the IP address of my host is 192.168.1.61 operating system is 7.5 Linux and uh, Postgre which is already installed with one instance is Postgre 12 so we are going to log into that so this is uh, I'm logged in as root so let's say the first step let's say uh, just uh, switch the user to Postgre so now i'm logged in as postgre now just say uh, for the existing setup just say where is my existing data files so echo pg uh, data just go to this location and you will see these many files and it has its own background processes as well so you can just say ps xf so this is my uh, current setup with one instance so you can see uh, postmaster is there then th these are the uh, rest of the background processes now what we are going to do we are going to create a, a new cluster with the new location of the data file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file uh, wherein uh, wherein we will keep uh, all the uh, data files so let's create it in this location let me log in as root and uh, we will say mkdir and uh, we will create a data directory instance 2 i think i uh, sudo su space minus postgre this data directory is already owned by uh, postgre user ls hyphen ld and let's say check the permission so it is already owned by postgre let's create this directory instance 2 wherein we are going to keep our data files so this is created and uh, along with that what we will do uh, to uh, keep the uh, uh, what do you say uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the socket file we will keep uh, will create one location so we'll create one location like uh, um, mkdir hyphen p uh, home instance 2 um, just give the ownership to postgre to this uh, particular file where in uh, the socket file can be created so we have done that now let's start uh, the uh, the first thing which we will do is uh, we'll, we have created the directory then we will say initialize db and uh, the directory location and everything we are going to do uh, uh, do as postgre user so in a db and the uh, new data directory location so you can see uh, the file belonging to this database will be owned by the user postgre database cluster is getting created uh, the user will also own the server processes and uh, 
fixing permission on existing directory creating subdirectory so it is going to create all the files which were there in the existing cluster now it is saying if you have to start the uh, the cluster you have to use postgre hyphen d or pgctl hyphen d uh, command uh, directory location and the log file name and followed by either start stop or reload there are three uh, things you have it now let's create the postgre cluster uh, configuring uh, that means we have to ch change the uh, two entries uh, one is the port number and another is the uh, socket directory location so we'll say vi slash postgresql dot conf and we have to change two parameters one is the port because we cannot use the same port this is already in used by the uh, existing uh, uh, instance so let's change it to 5433 uh, three, three, and we will give uh, the unix socket directory as the new directory wherein the socket file will be created and and uh, this was slash home slash uh, uh, and we created uh, with the name uh, slash home instance 2 so let's create uh, put this we have done this now we have to restart is first of all we have to start the instance for the first time so we'll say starting postgres server so we'll say pgctl hyphen d and uh, followed by the directory location then log file if that's optional and you can say just start so starting so this will start uh, within a couple of seconds and we will check using ps uh, space xf so if you execute this you will see one is with my a new location new data directory so this is my new data directory and this was the old data directory so these set of uh, background processes is for old uh, um, uh, instance and this is for my new instance so we have created one more instance now how to connect with that so we will say psql h uh, localhost hyphen p uh, port number is 5433 and the user is postgre uh, just execute this and uh, we are logged in to the new instance just quit out of this and we will see one more command how to stop the server to stop the server it everything remains same uh, you just have to replace your uh, so we'll say pgctl hyphen d directory location where all the data files are there then hyphen l uh, uh, log file name if you want to give then stop just say stop and it is going to it, you can see that server is stopped if i you say ps uh, if you try to connect to new instance it is it is showing that there is some problem the problem is it has been down and if you just say ps xf it will show you that the background processes are uh, obviously down for new instance this is the old instance and um, in case you have to start it again just say start bgctl hyphen d directory location and start you start it it is starting and then finally if you have to reload uh, you made some changes and if you have to reload it then just say bgctl hyphen d directory name hyphen l log name then reload so signaled and it is done you can see our uh, background processes for new postgre is available now so this is how we create a new uh, instance so just to recap uh, we create a new directory where the data file will go the data file will go to this location uh, then you just say init db and the new location uh, then you modify port number and unix socket directory then you start the instance using pgctl hyphen d directory location and then you have to check the process has came up or not ps uh, xf then you can try to log in psql hyphen h localhost hyphen p port number and the username and this is how we create a new instance on postgre 
I hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.